Now, since I have been working on that project, the eight inch sub that we had in the factory locations in the back seat of our JT is actually something we're gonna be giving away to one of you. That's right. We are going to be giving away any upgrades and uh, things that we end up replacing to one of you guys. Instead of selling it and trying to get money for it, we wanna give back to the community. So that means with this sub, me working on this project, the custom one that we had built specifically for the factory location of RJT is something you guys have the opportunity to win. The way to do that, check out our Patreon page and all of the details will be there. It's as simple as commenting on one of the behind the scenes videos for whatever we're giving away. This isn't the only thing we're gonna be giving away. We have this, we're eventually gonna be giving away a motorcycle, spoiler alert, and a bunch of other things. So if that's something you guys are interested in, stay tuned, check out our Patreon page, and more details to come. So we got the inside prepped. We put masking tape down so that way we can directly apply the fiberglass and get a better mold for our box. Next step is putting the box in or the wood in and getting the shape to really be more of a box shape. So how do you like working with fiberglass? Well, I wish I had known how it worked before I started doing it because I would have a lot less to do for sanding later if I understood yeah. it earlier, but that's okay. No, I, I got this. Okay. I am good to go. <laughs> I can't wait to get out of the truck. <laughs> How do you feel about all this being inside here? It better sound good. So we already have the mold and the shape to what we want for the box. Um, we did end up using tape to do that in the back seat, added the fiberglass, and now I am just reinforcing what we already have for the shape. Um, I'm going to use this long piece here tucking in and I'm on a time thing with the fiberglass stuff. Get it down, dabbing it keeps it from humping up too much but it likes to slide around a lot. Yeah you're on a time thing with this so don't mix more than what you're prepared to use in a five minute span. Even that you're gonna work fast. <laughs> and you just keep repeating this process until you have a very solid shape and then after that you do the bondo or you sand and then you bondo and then Keep waiting for everything to dry. It's a lot of waiting. A lot of waiting. But next video will be what it looks like we're fun doing. This is a week into it. And I'm almost done. I'm hoping I'll be done by the end of today. I have a couple more Bondo coats I need to do, a little sanding and some primer and paint. In order to make it to this point, I've had to learn a thing or two about Bondo. And one of the things that I've learned about Bondo is how to mix it properly. I have gone through almost this entire bucket. I'll show you a couple pointers here. Get your Bondo out, apply it to a flat surface. And then you take your spatula and you just do this a bunch of times and be very mindful of the bubbles. Pointer one, don't use the back. Only use one side. The smoother you can make it while you're mixing it, the less likely you're gonna have air bubbles. This is actually what you'd use for cementing your stucco, but I found that this works better than the small template. It gives you more room to work with if you're gonna do larger batches. Okay, so then I'm left with this. Nice thing about that is it can sit on its side and then I don't have to hold it while I'm working. Okay, apply a layer here and then you go. The rest of it here on my spatula. So I have everything sanded, 
Got my filler primer here. First coat of primer is on. I'm gonna let it dry. And this is what two coats of primer looks like. The second coat was a primer that also has a sealant in it. Next up, painting. I finished spray painting the sub box. It's all dry, it's been installed in the JT, and I wanted to show you guys just how it came out. I'm pretty happy with it overall. This is how it came out. Could have been a little bit smoother around the edges if I had given it a little bit more time sanding it, but I was ready to install it and see how it looked. So with the seats down, we've got plenty of room. Overall, I'm happy with how the sub box came out. Could have been a little bit better, but for the first time doing it, um, that sub box replaced the custom sub box that we had made for the factory location in our JT that we will be giving away. Remember to check out our Patreon page for all of that information and keep an eye out for the behind the scenes. We're going to be doing a photo set and then also a video will be coming out for the behind the scenes information for the giveaway. If you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you like our videos and you want to see more of them, Hit the subscribe button and then that notification bell. It just lets you know when we have new content up and out. And you guys, I hope you have a fantastic day.